Good morning, everybody. Look at, I'm in a t-shirt. Does that tell you what it's gonna be like today? I think so. A uh, little update. Um, yesterday, John Deere was out for this big old tractor here. They got the air conditioning, I think, working in it. Um, they were still working on it when I left, so I'm assuming it's done. I haven't heard otherwise. Uh, it was a little low on Freon, so hopefully that fixes the problem. Um, I haven't filmed in a couple days just because of the fact that I've been I've been doing busy work, and I've been bouncing around. Uh, we did some work on the field cultivator, and because of the prototype shovels, I couldn't film that. Um, we were working on a semi in the barn, and my hands were nasty, greasy, dirty, and I'm not going to be touching the camera and everything with those, so I didn't film that. Uh, it, it's just been a lot of stupid little bouncing around busy work the last few days. Uh, I've been doing a, making a lot of phone calls. We've been contemplating buying a high-speed disc. Um, so I've been talking to some dealers about pricing and what they'll give us for what we're trading in. And I want a demo one. Uh, there is a dealer that's talking to me about bringing one down to our farm, hooking it to our tractor to see if A, our tractor will pull it. Because high-speed discs take a lot of horsepower to pull. Um, and because you have to pull them to speed. And when I say high speed, you're pulling this disc between 10 and 14 miles an hour, which a traditional disc you only pull between 6 and 8 miles an hour. So we've been kind of looking at that um, and weighing options and things like that. I want to demo one because, A, I've never run a high speed disc. I don't even know how they would work in our ground, things like that. So we've got a dealer that's possibly going to bring us a demo to hook to physically hook to our tractor to drive in our fields to see if it's something that we're interested in um, today I'm going to be first thing this morning I'm going to travel around and look at some fields and see if I can get on the fields that I want to no-till and get those sprayed with burn down so we can get the weeds under control so we can go in and no-till the ground it's kind of in the air right now whether or not I could spray right now. It's sunny out, it's gonna be 70 today, and the wind is blowing. The wind blowing kinda of concerns me because you really can't spray well in the wind. Um, but we're gonna weigh our options. They're talking about another rainstorm possibly moving in tomorrow, and it's getting to the point where I need to get these things sprayed. So we might have to kind of play the wind factor out, the rain factor. We got to weigh our options and see what we can do, how we can do it. Um, it's not blowing super hard, but it has some gusts here and there, enough that concerns me. What I can do is lower the sprayer down, the canopy down closer to the canopy. Um, I don't like doing that, but it might be our only option. So we'll see. This clip has, I've been rambling on quite a long time with this clip, so I'm going to move on. We're going to go look at some fields to see if we can get in to spray them and kind of weigh our options today. Well, so far I have found drier dirt, but it's not quite dry enough to run the sprayer across the no-till ground that we're going to no-till, but the stuff that was fall plowed on tile ground, I think this afternoon I might be able to hook the disc up and run the disc across it. I'm going to go check another field real quick and see if maybe that will be ready to disc as well, because then it'd be worth hooking the disc up and going. So let's see what happens. Well, my day went to crap in a hurry. Um, I unhooked, I fired up the big tractor here to hook up to the disc and I thought well that's odd the damn alternator lights on what's going on with that so I shut the tractor off I popped the hood and sure enough we got a broken alternator belt 
So, and of course the John Deere dealers close at noon today and it's like 12.30, so I can't get a hold of nobody. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go look at the little tractor, the planting tractor, and see if the it has the same alternator belt. <clears throat> If it's got the same alternator belt, I can pull it off of that tractor for right now, put it on this one, at least get me going today. <sighs> you gotta love farming. Oh look, there's a shield right here. You know, for safety. So I can't even look at the number on that belt to see if it's the same belt. I have to remove that shield so I can see the number on the belt. <laughs> this just keeps getting better and better. Nope, not the same size. So, I guess what I'm gonna do is, I guess I can unhook that plow and hook that tractor to the disc and I can go run the disc. You gotta pull it, just pull it a little slower and uh, be a little rougher going over the bumps rather than this one. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I'll do that instead Just swap tractors All right, I got that one in the barn so I can deal with that on Monday. So now I got to go out and unhook the little plow from the planting tractor and hook that to the disc and see what else messes up with me today garbage Knock on wood so far so good So far everything's still running smooth um, I probably got about 30 acres done um, I wanted to get some action shots for you guys, but the problem is I'm doing this plowed ground that was fall plowed and it's just so bumpy and so rough. I had you guys hooked up here and I was going to talk to you guys a little bit up here but the camera's moving around so much it's not even funny. It's just bouncing around like crazy. I'm afraid if I put you guys out there so you can see some action shots you'll end up falling off and going under the disc. That's I don't want you guys to get hurt. Apparently I got a text message. But at any rate, we are we're still disking. I'm out here working by a, a main road here. And I'm seeing all the motorcycles riding by. It's making me sad. But at least I'm in a tractor and not stuck at home. You guys are in for a treat. I'm working my way to the front of the field to pick up a VIP. Here he comes. What's up, buddy? You want to ride with Grandpa for a little bit? Yeah. We're disking. We're disking. Yeah. Seats are airing up. Seats are airing up. Yep. 
because of the extra weight I added to it. You got to keep an eye on your disc back there too. Make sure Looks everything's. Back there. Yep, you got to make sure everything's going good. Where are you going? This way. You got to get to the end of our row. Boy, that's crooked, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> doing good. Yep, you gotta just stay, like, find a tree out there or something and just drive straight for that tree. That's kind of how you keep an eye. That's when you're, you're free-handing it that way. <laughs> what do you think about driving this tractor? A big tractor. I got birds. Yep, I got, got birds. birds. going away. This isn't even the big tractor either. Yeah, big tractor broke on me today. Mm -hmm. You kind of want to see that area that hasn't been done yet? You kind of want to shoot for that area, okay? There's some more there. Yeah, look at the dirt though. See the, see the area that's clear? Mm -hmm. That's where you want to go to. That one? No, not over here. Over here? Yep, see right here? This spot here that hasn't been done, that's where you want to head to. Yeah, remember, you got to keep an eye on your implement, too, while you're doing this. Uh-oh, dropped your drink. That's all right. Go this way just a little bit. There you go. Now you're back on track. We'll teach you how to drive the thing first, then we'll teach you the auto steer. Yeah. So how does it feel to be a four-year-old driving a $200,000 tractor? That's the camera. Yep, that's the camera. You're not even quite four years old yet, are you? You're like three and a half. What? Yeah. Look at my foot. Look right. at my foot. See Daddy's truck? Yep, I see Daddy's truck up there. Look at all these birds. They're flowing away. Yeah, those are seagulls. Those are seagulls. Yep, what they're doing is they're, as we're turning the dirt over, we're turning over worms, and they're picking up all the worms and grubs and stuff like that that are in the soil. In the soil? Yep. What? No way. Yeah, I'm serious. There you have it. Scooter, come to see Grandpa at work. So... I didn't film at all because, you know, got to have a little grandpa-grandson time once in a while. So him and I, while we were driving around the field, we kind of discussed, you know, world issues and things like that. You know, like every three-year-old does. So, all right, I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to diss this field. I think it's, uh, I folded up and pulled into a new field. It's just not quite dry enough. So I think I'm going to finish this pass and fold up and head back to the farm. All right, guys. I think I'm going to call it a day right now. We're kind of, we ran out of dry ground. So they're talking about a thunderstorm coming in tonight. Um, I hope we miss it. If we miss it, then I can probably get into a few fields tomorrow. But if it rains tonight, I'm dead in the water for a little while. Uh, I got to call and find parts for this beast so we can keep it up and rolling. Never ending. Never ending. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.